Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching The Departed. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. You. Yes, you. Hello, you. I know you. I know you're subscribed, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much to those of you who are subscribed to this channel. You help make this community what it is. You make this channel amazing, and I really appreciate those of you who stick around, continue to watch these movies with me, and leave your amazing comments and suggestions down below. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? Welcome to this channel. If you like what you see here, maybe consider clicking that little red button below. Today we are watching a really gritty movie called The Departed. I haven't watched something like this in a long time. I haven't watched a gritty... Uh, crime, drama, movie in a very, very long time. I wanted to do something a little differently because lately we've been doing some more fun stuff, some Avatar, The Last Airbender, some superhero content, and I've really been loving that, but I wanted to watch a drama that has been on my list for a long time, and this is the movie that ended up winning the poll over on Patreon. For those of you guys that don't know, I do have a Patreon page. I always link that in the description bar below. That's where you can catch my full-length watch-along style reactions to every movie and show episode that we watch over here and you can also vote in polls over there and help me decide what I watch next. This poll was a pretty epic poll. We had movies like No Country for Old Men in that poll, another movie that I'm dying to check out, uh, Drive, Whiplash. It was kind of a really random poll to be honest. They were just movies that I really wanted to watch so this was the one that ended up winning and I'm definitely not surprised because I've seen this one mentioned a few times in the comments. Definitely curious. It's got a pretty stacked cast with Leonardo DiCaprio, Jack Nicholson, and a young Matt Damon. I honestly don't have much to say about this movie. I don't really have many expectations. I don't know anything about the plot. I don't really know what the story is gonna be like. I've just heard it suggested a lot and it seems to have decent reviews. So I'm really curious to see what Scorsese did with it and see how I like it. And with all that being said, I think we shouldn't waste any more time and we should hop on into this movie. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Don't make me have to come down here again for this. Won't happen again, Mr. C. Whoa, why does he have to pay him? I like that we still haven't taken his face out of shadow yet. He's just in shadow waiting to be revealed. You ever want to earn a little extra money, you come by L Street. Oh God, don't do it, kid. Okay, you could have bigger prospects than that. He's grooming kids to work for him. Wow, that, wow, and he's a... A pastor boy? That's so crazy. This kid is either gonna be Leo or Mad Damon. I don't know which one. Why is Jack Nicholson still in shadow? Today, what I'm saying is this. Okay, you're gonna step into the light now? Finally. What's the difference? It's my boy. It was Matt. Uh, he became a cop. Each and every one of you will serve with distinction, honor, and integrity. Oh, I'm sure some of them won't. School's out. Thank you, Frank. Oh God, what did he give him? What did he give him? Uh-oh, what is it, a gun? What did he give him? So, you got family connections down in Southie, right? Through your father? Why don't you tell us about your Uncle Jackie? Uh-oh, what about his uncle? He was a carpet layer for Jordan Marsh. Uncle Jackie was a small time bookie who attended bar at the vets in Somerville. He got popped by in a cash in 95. We found his body out by the airport. Oh, they're Boston. I can't get over the, the thick Boston accents on everybody. This is an elite unit. Alec, oh my God, there's a lot of guys in this cast. Family's all criminals except for the old man, huh? The irony, I bet is, I bet Leo is more honorable than Matt Damon's character. But he really wants to be a cop because he wants to make a difference. I don't know, I'm just guessing. You do enough jail time to convince anyone this is no setup. You'd be on probation, see a court ordered shrink, the whole nine yards. This is so crazy. You want to serve the Commonwealth, this is your chance. Oh my God, so that it can work with them instead? Oh, so he's out of prison now. Billy? Yeah, it's me. <gasps> Whoa, my, I love that editing for the sound design. That was funny. Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. What do you get, your period? <laughs> Mind your business, asshole. Oh. <laughs> he has to put on the axe that he's like a mess, that he's unhinged. You do not want to miss it if Costello takes a dump. We'd miss a lot less if you made your informants available to us. The camera choreography. So good. I wonder what's going on, because... Matt clearly like was raised by, I think Jack Nicholson's character is Frank Costello. So like he would have a vested interest in protecting him. I just don't understand. Are you a statey? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm actually going to law school also though. Uh, Suffolk Knights? Uh, well, yeah, they don't run Hobbit at night. Look at the guy in the, the back shaking his head like these 
too, holding up the elevator. I listen, I went to UMass, I, I wasn't insulting you. Guys, f get off the elevator, Matt! No, no, that's all right, I'm a detective, I'll find you. No, sir, I'm just joking, I need the cat. <laughs> he's smooth, he's quick. Man, you are trouble. Oh, no, you don't know the half of it. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, that's so cute! <laughs> I know he's like joking, but <laughs> she might uh, fix him a little bit because he's got some baggage. You met my friend, Mr. French, the other night. Oh, this is how their paths are crossing. Oh, that guy. Oh, his job was to get to Costello via undercover, undercover ways. Come with me. Uh oh. I knew your father. You know he's dead. He really is the perfect guy to have go undercover with his history. I see why uh, Mark and Martin took this tactic with him. Oh, I'm a f on. Oh, you're cast. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. ah! Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! They're just searching him for cameras and wires and sh or weapons or everything. Oh, God. No! No! Are you still a cop? No! Are you gonna stop doing coke deals with your jerk off <laughs> cousin? <laughs> We already agreed on that! Jesus. Ow. Jesus Christ. Get your hand taken care of. Please. Yeah, he already had it taken care of, man! Oh yeah, yeah. We have to do it by phone. I won't do it if I have to wear a wire. No Is he wire. terrified? Oh, he's ter he's terrified the whole time. I would be terrified too. This is a really high stakes job to be in Leo's shoes. I'd be terrified. Bottom line, we think we might have a problem. We think Costello's got a rat in the state police. It's yeah, you're the rat. <laughs> It's just so funny that that like Matt and Leo have just like switched places. Like one of them wants to be an honorable cop and he's working with Costello and the other one is working with Costello pretending to be an honorable cop. What do you got for me, Trooper? Uniform clipped him for a suspended license. However, as he's the subject of an open investigation. More than one, yeah. The constant like changing up of the way that cinematography is choreographed is very jarring, but in a good way. Give it to me, he doesn't know what the f lawyer looks like. Oh, is he gonna be the lawyer? You can't do that. He just did. Oh, that's so bad. That's so corrupt. Oh, he's not saying yes. He's just saying, what do you think? Mom, I'm not going to make it home for supper. Sorry, you yeah, had got held up. <laughs> this is so crazy, man. Everybody out. Move. Oh, uh, it's a sign for them to move. I see. Who's warning them? Oh, my God. We're burning the place down? Jesus. Uh, we're not killing anybody else, are we, with this fire? Run the last number he called. That's his house. Smart. Why did you use my phone? Because you didn't go in there. That's a good question. His, his, that guy working with him is asking the right questions. I think he's getting skeptical of uh, Matt Damon's character once he heard that there's a rat. Do you lie? Why? Oh, is she seeing her for help? So you had a parent who was a drunk. Did you? No. <laughs> Let's keep it with you. Ah, he, she, oh, he got to her. Oh my God. Maybe he should be a therapist. I'm going nuts, man. I can't be someone else every day. It's been a year of this. I've had enough. Oh, a year. Holy How about we just erase your file? Huh? Just threatening him. That's so great. I'm not gonna kill you. That was a joke. Come on. It was a really bad joke. Honestly, he does deserve a punch in the face. Poor Martin. He's babysitting these two assholes. Something's wrong. I'm, I'm telling you, something's wrong. Yeah, it does feel that way. Feels very corrupt. Hang tight for me, kid. I feel bad for him. He's like having a breakdown. He's scared for his life. He's living the way he doesn't want to live. Watching people get murdered. I'm having panic attacks, all right? The other night I thought I was having a heart attack. I haven't slept for weeks. Yeah, it looks like he hasn't slept. Yeah, look at his eyes. They're bright red. Oh. I thought I was supposed to tell the truth here. You if are. only you here. are, Christ, yes. Gonna... He is challenging her and I love it. He just manipulated the shit out of her. Think about it, hot shot. <laughs> oh, did she just write him a prescription? She did. It worked, it worked. It's my card and a prescription for 20 lorazepam. Is it enough to commit suicide? Maybe it is. Wow, oh God. I'm transferring you to another counselor. No, don't do that, don't do that. So you wanna get a cup of coffee? This is great, man. This is funny. He's stealing her, his girl. He's stealing Matt's girl. Staff Sergeant Sullivan's team will ID the bad guys and listen in on the phones. Our unit will not take action. I repeat, not take action until a man that Captain Queenan has inside their operation verifies the transaction. Are we clear? Oh, he can't warn him. He can't warn Frank. 
warn Frank, huh? Because he didn't know this was going to happen. Trying to send a text from inside of his pocket. Oh, God. This is insane, man. Oh, he's going to notice it. Someone's going to notice. You know, you couldn't do that with an iPhone. You could, but it'd be a lot harder. I feel like having the buttons makes it easier. Sending a blind text like that. This is so crazy, man. <sighs> he's his phone out. I'm so scared for Leo. Wait. There's still one phone up. Yep. Oh God, don't get caught, Leo. Don't get caught. There's one guy brings the items and the other guy pays him. Thank you for the charades, Jack. The physical acting out. Cars are moving. Did you see anybody come out? Huh, that's weird. They didn't figure we had a Navy. Oh, taking a boat out. Uh... Can I talk to you for a second, please? Can I talk to you for a second, please? <laughs> He's sweating so much. How long you been with this guy? Oh, four months. Four months. Almost four months. You love him? It's a pretty serious relationship. No, so that's a no. She doesn't love him. People have doubts and problems. Mm. And not problems, but doubts. Yep, she's having doubts. Yep, he doesn't do it for her. All right, we're not having this out. What? You know, not in the living room. We might have company. Oh, he's trying to protect her, probably. Probably trying to protect her, because if somebody came over and saw her photo, they could hurt her to get to him kind of a thing, maybe? I don't know. Mayor Sullivan's office. We'll call him on the phone right now. Whoa. I think it's a guy with, uh, it's like a, can a cancer guy. A cancer guy. Oy, yi, yi. This poor girl is getting in the mess of it. Do you like Little Miss Thing sucking on your Yes. Yes, I do. So. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> we got a cop in my crew. Mm-hmm. You do. This is so funny. All right. Now, what I need you to do, you get me information on the people who were with you last night, your crew. Get me social security numbers. Get me full get names. Uh-oh. I don't think he's going to give you any of that. She is watching him. The way that was shot was so, like, funny. Oh. I heard the story. You arrested some Chinese government guys at the border carrying some light sockets or something. This is so ominous with the children singing in the background. Oh, is he boarding a boat or something? Frankie. I don't know. Wait, dynamite? So much is happening. Oh. I gotta pay Costello and wait for him to trade me to the FBI? Because that's what he does. Oh, he's the one setting off dynamite. Is it French out there? Costello's a protected FBI informant. He'll trade you out. That may, oh, wow. Oh, sound design is great. I bet Keenan knows. The FBI. Or, or Mark Wahlberg, I don't know. This is all just so suspicious. I feel so bad for Leo, man. He's been put through the ringer. Your real name and all your account numbers. Then we wait here. Oh, no. Oh, f God damn it. Poor Leo. He just has been given the situation. I'm going to keep calling them by their actor names because I have a hard time remembering any other characters' names except for Frank. <laughs> I'm not staying, all right? You could tell him I said that. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think he's got he's to run now. He's done. He's coming to say goodbye to her in the rain. <laughs> this poor girl is really put, getting herself into trouble here. She doesn't even know it. That's me. Oh, the photo that she initially brought to Matt Damon's place. Aww. So he's putting it up higher to see it better. You know, you have to stick by what you choose. You have to... Move in with your boyfriend? Yeah, well, yes. But, like, you've only been dating a few months. It's not like you can't just break up with him if you don't feel right in the relationship. She's got a thing for bad boys, though. I have to say your vulnerability is really freaking me out right now. She's not used to vulnerability. <laughs> you don't have any cats. Ah! I like that. <laughs> just, you don't have any cats. I like that. That's funny. That's so funny, man. Going, the, the do. I really thought we were going to like see scenes between Matt and Leo. I didn't realize that it was going to be like a duality of like them kind of like pretending to be something or not in like the opposite situations. And then also fighting over the same girl. This is really funny. <laughs> I just noticed the, <laughs> the four leaf clover tattoo. <laughs> it's got the paperwork. You don't think he's not going to know immediately that you're tailing him? Follow the envelope. I own the place. Oh, 
Oh, he's here. Oh, Jesus. I'm worried that Frank's gonna see. Leo! Oh, no, 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 no. Get visual ID? Just, no, stay in your seat. I'm scared for him. I can get the rat. The rat's right behind you. <laughs> okay. Oh, the paperwork. Them understood jacking off in a theater. Is he just digging at the meeting place? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. He's gonna see him. He's gonna see him. Don't see him. Don't see Leo. Uh-oh. I bet he knows. I'm scared. Oh, maybe not. Okay. <sighs> okay, maybe it's all right. I. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I just feel like Frank is so smart. I'm scared. This is such a high stakes, stressful job. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. What is with the freeze frame? The stylized freeze frame. Oh, is he being followed? I'm scared for him. Someone behind him. Oh my God. The shadow of Matt Damon. And the. this is so trippy. Seeing his reflection and the wind chimes. Oh, now he's gonna see he's being followed. Uh-oh, you ruined it, man. Make a rest. It's too late. It's over now. Oh, he's got a knife. Oh, my God. He just killed a random guy. He just killed a random guy. Holy sh**. There's a CCTV camera. You're f***ed, bro. Oh, Leo, notice the cameras. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's... Oh, no. Oh, no. Matt's at the cameras. I wonder if he came in here to try to, like, delete it? I don't know. Maybe just to see who it was. Oh, God. I'm so scared for him. Smell a rat. Oh, no. Well, I guess that leaves me out. <laughs> Man, when Jack Nicholson laughs, it's so terrifying. He really plays intimidating people so well. And I think, could I do murder? And all I can answer myself is, what's the difference? That's like what he said, what Frank said in the beginning to Matt Damon about being a cop. I'm not the f***ing rat. Start with you agree there is a rat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think he can talk his way out of this. I'm nervous. Okay, Francis. Cigarette. They're so intimidating. They are so intimidating. They know it's him, but I wonder why they wouldn't just kill him. I, they must know it's him. They gotta know. I just, or maybe they're not sure. I don't know. I'm surprised they're letting him... Off. Everybody knows you've been assigned here to find Costello's rat. They want to find the leak as much as you do. Uh -huh, so not at all? <laughs> no, no, I can't tell you what or where. It's probably disinformation. Just keep following him, all right? I am so scared. I'm so scared the way this is filmed. The stakes are so high. Follow Costello, you'll find his rat. Yeah, this is Sergeant Sullivan. I want constant surveillance on Captain Queenan starting right now. Interesting. He, he's got to know he's being followed. He's, I feel like he's going to figure it out. He's a pro. He's got a really obvious wire, too. Is there any reason you would have a tail? He does have a tail. He does. Billy is smart. I would not want this job. This is so stressful. <laughs> Look at that arrow, 344. Four. Here's his tail. I think we got him. I think Queenan's meeting with him right now. With the rat? Yeah, he is. Uh-oh. That's why he wanted Queenan to be followed, so that he could tell Frank. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Billy, where the f*** are you? We've been trying to reach you. We found the rat. Uh-oh. The address is 314 Washington Street. You got it? Oh, it's the wrong address. You were followed. By who? By Costello's people. Yep. You're a dummy. I thought the what address he said was 344 Washington. This is so crazy, man. There's just so much corruption on both sides. It's so messy. I'll be fine, but if you get made, I can't protect you. Now go, go. Oh, I don't want Martin Sheen to get killed. Oh, <laughs> don't get killed, man. No, no, don't kill him. Billy, you're about to be. The f happened? You're fing late. Get in the bar. What's going on? I what can't the f see you. Be? He's got to put on an act. Holy. No f pursuit. I need some information. What came off the roof? That's no pursuit. Fing Martin Sheen did. Yep. Yeah, they're probably like pissed that, oh God, they're all dying. Oh, this is horrible. Probably like, what do you mean no pursuit? Because he's trying to protect Costello's boys. Yeah, man, you can't play for both sides. I just turned the radio off. Send us back. He just turned the radio off. They were going to say send us back up. He got Queen and killed. I need access to those files. Yeah, I forgot the password, but if you want to come down to the garage with me, I'd be happy to give it to you. Uh -huh. Work with the tech guys to unlock those files. Dig them, take a leave of absence. Take a leave of what? Wow. Queen and is dead. I'm your boss now. Wow. Two weeks with pay. Good. Oh, God. This is so bad, too, because Queen and Mark Wahlberg's character are the only ones who know. Anyone know who Billy is, you know? Huh? Billy. 
This guy is just sitting there on the couch bleeding out with a hole in his chest. You know what I thought today? Is he dying on the couch because he's not going to be able to get medical help? You've never been late in your life. Mm. I made a mistake. I, I gave you the wrong address. That's true. He did. You showed up at the right one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't tell nobody. Uh-oh. He did say 314 Washington. <coughs> oh, he's dying. That's convenient. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wow, that's really convenient that he just died. He was protecting him even though he knew he was the rat. You killed the guy who had all the information. Now Dignam's gone. Forget about him. He resigned. He's losing it too. Look at him talking to him, Frank, like this boldly in the office. Oh. Leave her out of it, honestly. We should just leave her out of it. I can't be a friend to you. Oh. Oh. Come on, he's the good guy. He's got issues, but he's a good guy. You're dating a criminal, ma'am. You're dating a murderer. Oh, God. Good guys always finish last. It's so sad. Is that all Queen and stuff? Yeah, look at what, look at, look at what you caused. You caused this, man. Oh, he's gonna look at the phone. That was also so genius. The sound design. I can't believe he's touching this phone, which is evidence. He's just really, this is so crazy. It's Queen and's phone. Don't pick up. He's going to, though. <sighs> Neither of them are speaking. Yeah, I would have hung that up too. That's f***ing sketch, bro. Probably thinks they traced the call. Is he calling it back? He called it back. You called this number on a dead guy's phone. Who are you? You guys are both the rats. We need you to come in. Can you come in? No, you shouldn't. Good job. Yep. Don't trust him. You can only trust Dignam. <sighs> I mean, he's technically allowed to be handling it, I guess, but FBI informant. Costella is FBI. Uh-huh. Yep. He just figured that out. I got it from an undercover. Uh, he knows he's being followed, so let's just let the UC take him in. What undercover? Queen is guy. He should have given this up. You're done, dude. So get rid of the tail, get special ops on standby. We'll take this prick tonight. If you f this up, they're gonna be looking at you with hella crazy eyes, man. They're gonna be thinking you're so sus if you can't give him Costello. Wow, this is crazy, man. Frank wants me to check the back, all right? You go ahead. Nice. He knew he didn't want to be in the car. <laughs> he was like, you guys go ahead. I'm going to be somewhere else. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Fran oh, you're dead, Francis. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is he calling? Uh... Oh, he got shot. Is he calling uh, Matt Damon? Or is he calling Billy? Who's he calling? I think it's Billy. Oh no, it's Matt Damon. That would make sense that he'd call Matt. You're an FBI informant. Oh yeah, I forgot he learned that information. Oh. Grow up. Grow up. You know I'd never give you up. You're like a. Uh... Like a son. All that murdering and f and no sons. Holy. F Holy. F In the tractor you go. Wow. Wow. He's got his arms out. Almost looks like Jesus, you know? Is Billy just watching this somewhere? I just would love it if Billy was just watching this whole thing go down. How'd you get him without the files? Caller ID. Queen and Swan. You know that guy? Yeah. We were classmates in the academy Oh, together. yeah, they were. Now, how long were you undercover? Long time. Mm-hmm. Long time. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so crazy. My only contact in the last six months has been a police shrink. How's that working for you? Ha <laughs> Does Billy know? I want him to know, please. He's about to piece it together. He just figured something out. He figured out that Matt is the rat, huh? Is he gonna delete? Oh no, is he gonna delete his file? Don't delete his file. That would be so sad. Yep. Yeah, he figured it out. Yep. Yep. Faster, man. Oh god, I'm so nervous. <sighs> wow, there is so much suspense in this movie, you guys. I am on the edge of my f seat. The sound design is incredible. He's altering his file, huh? <gasps> he turned around at the wrong moment. Oh, he's running. Is he gonna delete it now? Yep. I know. Oh, he went to her. I've gotta give you something. Something I need you to keep. From me. We really just be dragging her into this. You open this if something happens to me, or if I call you and I tell you to open it. You're the only person I can trust, all right? There's just no one else I could give it to. Aww. There's no one else. No, 
everybody else he loves is dead. Really? Yeah. Is she pregnant? She's pregnant. Wow, honey, you do not know the kind of guy you're married to and having a kid with. So let her from him. Costigan, open it. Oh, to Colin. She's going to open it. She shouldn't, but she's going to play me now. I have I would play it too. I'd have questions. Oh, headphones, smart. Don't find this cheese-eating rat bastard in your department. You can assume it won't be me who pays for it. Oh, he was recording it. She knows it's his voice. What? You gotta lie too, honey, remember? We got a cop in my crew. Oh no, she's, oh, she's playing it. I thought I was the liar. Hey, I can explain that. No, you can't. Costello recorded everything. He put all the tapes in a little box and kept them with his lawyer. That was his insurance. Oh, that was Costello. Wow. Three o'clock, where Queen and died, you keep your cell on. Ooh, that is crazy. Plot twist. I can get you your money. <laughs> It's not about money. All right, only one of us is a cop here, Bill. You understand that, Bill? No one knows who you're you Shut the f up! I'm Mark Wahlberg knows who he is. Drop your weapon. Oh, come on. Where's Dignum? I told you to bring Dignum. Oh, you didn't bring Dignum. But right now I need you to drop the weapon. Just drop the weapon, man. It's fine. I'm taking him downstairs now. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. You know who I am. Oh my god, oh thank god. Don't shoot him, just don't shoot him, there's no need. Just f***ing kill me. Ooh. Just f***ing kill me. Mmm, the guilt's setting in now, I see. I am killing you. Yeah. Ooh. Did you think you were the only one he had on the inside? Costello was gonna sell us to the FBI. It's you and me now, you understand? I just want to go on record. I'm recommending William Costigan for the Medal of Merit. Oh. Uh -huh. <sighs> Only the corrupt survive. Oh my god. This was that was just that was just insane. Are we gonna see what was in that packet, that envelope that Costigan gave her? Yeah. He was a good one. He was a real one. I wonder if that was like Costigan's baby. That could it could have been Costigan's baby, you know? Yeah, man, you don't have her love. You don't have her trust or her love. Who's here? Uh-oh. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh, look, a rat. Ha <laughs> ha. With the view of the state building where he was so proud to work. They're all rats here. Wow. <laughs> that was really jarring. <laughs> I gotta say, it is not often that I watch a movie that is like two and a half hours long and dramatic that actually rivets me or has me like has my attention captured the whole time. Like that, I really did feel like I was on the edge of the, my seat for a little while there. <laughs> that felt kind of like um, <laughs> some Quentin Tarantino films that I've seen, like Kill Bill. <laughs> Whew, that was a lot, man. That was great. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, that was a lot. That was really intense. I feel like I could watch it all over again just to capture all of the little nuances that I missed in the writing. I love movies when we get to watch two different characters' experiences parallel side by side um, and how they intertwine and how they intersect and seeing the way that cinematography plays with that. I felt like the cinematography for this movie was just excellent. There were moments where I did think it was a little silly how jarring some of the shots were, but ultimately they surprised me a lot when they happened. I don't think it was too much, so I really appreciated it. The sound design was great. <laughs> So great. Oh my God, it was incredible. The writing was great. I really liked all the little themes that we had come back around, especially that faithfully departed quote. The only guy who never really departed from what he wanted to be was um, Leonardo DiCaprio's character. He had to be something he wasn't for so much of this movie and it was killing him and eating him alive slowly. And then when he finally, you know, captures Matt Damon's character and he's like gonna do the right thing and turn him in, he gets killed. But really nobody survived in this story except for Mark Wahlberg's character. <laughs> it's just so crazy. I feel like this is one of those movies where I'm just going to need time to process it and think about what I just watched. 
there was so much meat to it. And for the first like 30 minutes of the movie, I feel like I wasn't even commenting that much or reacting that much because I was just sitting there silently trying to take everything in, trying to learn everything I needed to learn about these characters, trying to understand what made them tick and also the names of people. I mean, we got a lot of white guys in this movie, so I was trying to keep track of everybody. A lot of famous guys, but you know, just a lot of people who look similar and just trying to keep track of everybody can be difficult sometimes. This was a well done movie though, and I would be really interested to revisit it and see what I pick up on on a rewatch. There was just so much backstabbing and uh, <laughs> manipulation going on. It was like just constantly getting surprised with these little plot twists and these little surprises and intricacies that went on throughout the story. It was really captivating, really surprising, definitely kept me on the edge of my seat. I'm like speechless right now, honestly. <laughs> I don't really have a lot to say because I'm just processing that last uh, couple scenes, especially where they're, you know, Leo's trying to leave the elevator and in the matter of, you know, a minute, three guys die and then like a minute after that, Matt Damon dies. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it was just a lot to have thrown in my face. But um, yeah, it was fun. I feel weird saying that it was fun because it was so gruesome, but uh, it was fun. <laughs> I really love the way that the sound design played with the humor of everything too. Just the way that songs would cut out so suddenly um, on certain cuts or edits or on the phone opening. I just think whoever did the sound is great. I think that this movie was just really spectacularly made and it was a fun watch. I'm definitely curious to see what you guys think in the comments down below on this one. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to edit this for YouTube, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, I think a lot will have to be cut out or blurred. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cameron, in advance. <laughs> If you guys made it to the end of this video, please uh, give Cameron some love down in the comments below because editing videos like this is particularly hard, not just because it's a slog to get through because it's a long movie, but he's got to edit out a lot of violence and things and blur a lot of stuff. And it's just, <laughs> it's a lot for him. So just please give him some love down in the comments below. And until the next one, that's really all I have for you guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me out. It also lets me know that you guys want to see more movies like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.